Right, let's try and help by narrowing the choice down for you. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please, leaving just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Well, that's left you with A or B to choose from. OK, right, using up your lifeline. Ask the audience. Audience, if you're ready, please, let's try and help out. Fingers on keypads, all vote now. Well, they're sure the answer is B, but they're a very strange bunch. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? You might as well play this. You've got nothing to lose. So you're saying B. You had nothing to lose by playing this question. And you haven't. You just won £64,000. Now, this next question is number 12 of 15. It's worth £125,000. Now, you're guaranteed to walk away with at least £32,000. That's safe. You could leave now, though, with the £64,000 you've got at this moment. You don't have to play this next question. Take your time. You might as well have a look at it. You are just four questions away from £1 million. Here it comes. It's worth one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Complete the title of the book by George Grossmith, The Diary of a Busybody, a Dead Body, a Somebody, a Nobody. You're going for D. Oh, you were doing so well. But now you've done even better. You've just won £125,000. You have £125,000. Now, you now have question 13 of 15 coming up. Take your time. It's worth £250,000 if you can give me the right answer. Good luck. Here it comes. The hustings occur before which event? A-levels. General election. Grand national. Coronation. So you're saying B. You had £125,000 in your hand. You didn't have to play that last question. You could have walked away. You've now got a quarter of a million pounds. So, there's a check there for £250,000. But we don't want to give you that. We'd like to give you the next check for £500,000. You are, at this moment, two questions away from a million pounds. Have a look at it. Take your time. This is question number 14 of 15. What is the American name for the day we call Remembrance Day? Commemoration Day. 
Forces Day, Honours Day, Veterans Day. You don't have to answer this, but at this point you are just two correct answers away from one million pounds. Take as long as you need at this moment. This is for half a million pounds. You've got 250,000 pounds at this moment. You could play for 500,000 pounds, but a wrong answer would cost you 218,000 pounds. That's an awful lot of money to lose. You're going for D. You've just risked an awful lot of money on one question. You had a quarter of a million pounds and you could have walked away. You've been very, very brave. Your reward is a cheque for £500,000. Half a million. Well done. Right, you now have a cheque for £500,000. But we don't want to give you that. We really do want to give you a cheque, and we could in just a minute for one million pounds. You've answered 14 questions out of 14 correctly. It's time now for the 15th and final one. You don't have to play it, but this is worth one million pounds if you can give me the right answer. Here it comes. On what date is Anzac Day? January the 25th. February the 25th. March the 25th. April the 25th. I can't believe how tense this is becoming. Please take your time. I just remind you again, you are putting an awful lot of money at risk if you do choose to play this question. £468,000 to be precise. You don't have to play this question. You can walk away, but it is for £1 million. Going for D. You just risked four hundred and sixty eight thousand pounds by going for that answer. It was a risk, and you knew it was a risk but it was a risk worth taking. You have just won a million pounds. You've done it, fantastic, congratulations. You are a millionaire on Who Wants To Be A Millionaire? Thank you very much. Let's start again with Who Wants To Be A Millionaire? 